Hey there, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jamson Entertainment. And welcome to the conversation. Just before we get started, there are many ways you can help. You can like and subscribe so you never miss a conversation. But most importantly, please share this video. Get the word out there to the community we can talk about all the things that we love. Today on Throwback Thursday, we're looking at Saving Private Ryan. This is one of my all-time favorite war movies. This has a pretty big cast, and it's kind of a breakout movie for a few people. Most notably, it stars Tom Hanks and Matt Damon. This is after Matt Damon did Good Will Hunting, so he already had a breakout role but this one just kind of solidifies him as a movie star also starting out in this movie is vin diesel it's also starring tom sizemore edward burns who for the longest time i always thought was ben affleck but nope barry pepper he was in another movie with tom hanks the green mile and it's another really good one adam goldberg giovanni ribisi who i believe goes on to be in the miniseries band of brothers which i haven't seen but I, i've heard really good things about it and I would love to watch it. Jeremy Davies. Ted Danson is a notable cameo. Paul Giamatti. I think this is also kind of his big start. Dennis Farina. I know him best from the movie Snatch and from the original Law and & Order. And also Nathan Fillion is in this. This movie came out in 1998. And this movie gives the most accurate representation of storming the beaches of Normandy. Aside from the fact that this takes place in World War II and there were army rangers that operated in this war. Besides storming the beaches of Normandy, this movie is a complete work of fiction. I tried looking up to be absolutely sure. There was, I think, a Corporal Ryan that lost three brothers, but no team was sent out to rescue him. In reality, that would never happen, and even in this movie, they discuss how it's futile to do that, to waste a group of men of ten or so on one person to bring home. But I believe the Ryan in real life was at least sent a letter giving him orders to go home. I can't remember exactly, but I think that's what this is based off of. But in this story, a group of army rangers are sent to save Private Ryan, who is played by Matt Damon, and Tom Hanks is Captain Miller. As you can imagine, the rangers are puzzled as to why they're going after one man when there's a much larger objective and there's probably more important missions they can be put on. Despite this being fiction, I'm sure there are similar scenarios that happened in World War II. Like, the city warfare that happens in this, taking down enemy tanks to guard a certain area, stuff like that. This movie is so accurate, at least in the first 28 minutes, after the brief intro of this movie, is just the storming of Normandy. Back then, the veterans were saying, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. And this movie is rated R, so it doesn't hold back any of the horrors of war. And despite how many times I watch this movie, the beginning makes me cry, and the ending makes me cry. And the fictional part where there's this room filled with women typing up letters to the families of the soldiers that are that have died over in Europe. And there's this one woman that notices that in her pile there are two people with the same last name and you could see her further inspecting it, that they're also from the same address. And so she looks through another pile or two and finds the third brother and notices that the mother is going to be getting all three of these letters on the same day. And she brings it to the attention of her boss and then he brings it to the attention of his superior and so on and so forth until it makes it to a general. I know this is a fictional story, but the writing and the acting is so superb. It just, I cry every single time. And the ending really gets me because it goes back to the present day where Ryan is still in the graveyard and he's looking at Captain Miller's grave. Now, possible there was a Captain Miller of the same name and they just, and that, that was in the Rangers and they just happened to use him as a fictional character. And the ending always makes me cry because it goes back to the present day where Ryan is in front of Captain Miller's grave and he gives a salute and his wife comes over and he asks her, did I lead a good life? Am I a good man? And He's looking for reassurance because he knows what all those men went through to bring him home. And just the the acting just gets me right in the heart every single time. You know a movie is absolutely amazing when, and especially on multiple views, can still get that kind of emotion out of you. Of course, this is a Steven Spielberg movie, and I'm sure he has some duds, but he mostly has hits one after another because he is such a great storyteller. He knows how to capture every moment and portray every emotion beautifully. He's such a great director to get the actors to feel and 
get the audience to feel. I can't recommend this movie enough. I currently have it on DVD because I bought it years ago. I wish I could have seen this in theaters, but I was too young. I would love to get this on 4K and see it in better definition so I can capture all the details in it because I'm sure there's a lot in there. Those are my thoughts on Save It Private Ryan. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and live your imagination.